RTV6 connecting you to endless career opportunities across central Indiana. No matter your goals, interests, or your education level, Hiring Hoosiers has something just for you. And this evening, we're taking to the skies and you are clear for a takeoff. Students in Greenwood are learning how to fly. RTV6's Aaron Lish explains how this program is helping young people go from the classroom to the career in the aviation industry. From single engine Cessnas to Airbuses like the one behind me here, students are learning all about planes so someday they can help you get to your destination. Remember what happens when you get more induced lift? Students at Central 9 Career Center are laying down the groundwork to become the pilots of the future. Whenever you're going to turn, Whatever you think you're going to do with your hands, you just add a little bit of foot right before you do it. In the Aviation Flight and Operations program, students will become familiar with aviation tech, the history of the industry, exploring the current aviation environment and careers. Just flight, uh, being in the air, it seems like it's really relaxing. On top of it, it's just, it makes good money. And as the Indy Airport averages 145 flights a day, instructors say there's a major need for pilots. There are airlines right now that really are canceling flights because they don't have enough pilots. So it's vitally important to train a lot of pilots and that pipeline to get them to the career field is pretty long. So anytime we can take off that to get them into the pilot seat is that much better. They will earn dual credits for the work in this program. The plane is going to yaw as it's rolling. Students say they'll also take away skills like problem solving, communication, and situational awareness, which they will use not only in flight, but throughout their lives. It's not just a career thing. It helps you learn a lot of skills that are useful. Working for you, Aaron Lish, RTV6. Aaron, thank you so much. Students who complete the program at Central 9 will have nearly a full semester of credits in any aviation major that they choose to pursue. A young college student from Indiana is also up and coming and an entrepreneur and business owner. RTV6's Lauren Casey found the invention from a 20-year-old is creating jobs for many Hoosiers. The socket locket is an adhesive card holder. Um, where you can hold up to one, two, or three cards securely in place. Cicero native Katie Gelhausen is a 20-year-old college student, and like any college student, carries around her phone and school ID wherever she goes. You can pair it with your own phone grip and combine the two. So and so a device like this socket locket is really handy, and she found it's something her friends need. The catch? It didn't exist at first. Um, so the idea kind of sparked when one of my friends had taken off her card holder and put on a phone grip and then lost her cards. There was nothing out there like the socket locket. Katie is an entrepreneurship student at High Point University in North Carolina. She came up with the idea for the socket locket and at 19 years old, took action. So it all started with basically just a sketch. She did research, made sketches, earned a prototyping scholarship and is now patent pending. When looking for places to manufacture her product, she looked back home to Indiana, a place where she could be involved in the production process. It just seemed like fate that it was only 20 miles up the road. And that's where Mike Lieger with Progressive Plastics comes in. But Katie's been a, a powerhouse. Uh, she's very creative. Mike and Progressive Plastics decided to take on the socket locket project. The Elwood manufacturer is a full service custom injection molding company specializing in medical, military and aerospace products. And inventors are especially important to this local businessman. She has created something out of nothing and that something demands attention. Uh, and that uh, affects every facet, facet of the manufacturing process. Uh, there's prototype tooling, we've got assembly workers, we've got production operators, tooling people that all are touched by a new product. The success and demand for Katie's product not only impacts her business, but Mike's as well, allowing him to hire more Hoosiers. This is going to end up requiring us to increase our, uh, our staff probably 10 to 15 percent. Not only providing jobs to his community in Elwood, but also helping his employees feel fulfilled in their work. We want to make sure they understand that their reach goes much further than Elwood. Uh, that there are people all around this country uh, that are picking up the products that you've produced. And I think that means a lot uh, in terms of somebody being able to get out of bed in the morning. 
Lauren, thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow morning on Good Morning Indiana. To learn more about the socket, locket, jobs with progressive plastics, or any of the many career possibilities you see here on RTV6, go to our website, hiringhoosiers.com.